mara ya kwanza ulimwenguni mwanamme mmoja amepandikizwa moyo wa nguruwe huko Marekani. David Bennett mwenye umri wa miaka hamsini na saba anaonekana kupumua vizuri siku tatu baada ya kufanywa upasuaji huo. Emily Chebet anatueleza aliyojiri. Kulingana na madaktari David Bennett mwenye umri wa miaka hamsini na saba anaonekana kuwa na fuu siku tatu baada ya kufanywa upasuaji mjini Baltimore, Marekani. Upasuaji huo uliongozwa na daktari Bartley Griffith umeibua matumaini ya kuokoa maisha yake Beneth na wengine wenye mahitaji ya viungo vya mwili. Hata hivyo madaktari wanasema haijulikani ataishi kwa muda gani. Bennett alikuwa katika hali mbaya aliyedhaniwa angefariki kabla ya uamuzi wa kufanyiwa upasuaji. We've never done this in a human. And I I like to think that um, Uh, we we have given him a better option than what continuing his therapy would have been but whether it's a day week month year i don't know mafanikio haya yamehitimisha miaka kadhaa ya utafiti daktari griffith anasema itasaidia kutatua uhaba wa viungo vya mwili kama moyo na figo the donor animal uh, was very stable and the uh, the organ looks perfect Nguruwe aliyetumiwa alifanyiwa mabadiliko ya GMO ili moyo wake ukubaliwe na mwili wa binadamu. Probably the biggest risk is now. Um, we seem to be past what we consider the hyperacute rejection phase that we would normally have seen in an animal organ that wasn't specially treated. Um, so we feel good about that one. So we're preparing for the next attack on his organ. We know that uh, the pig heart will be attacked by different soldiers in our body different immune uh, players uh, can take it out and we we have designed a treatment plan in addition to the humanized genetically edited heart to try to account for that familia ya bennet ina matumaini kuwa mpendwa wao ataishi maisha ya kawaida baada ya upasuaji Mwezi Oktoba mwaka uliopita madaktari New York walitangaza kufanikiwa kupandikiza figo la nguruwe kwa binadamu Emily Chebet Runinga ya Citizen